cold today, really cold. And probably, uh, you couldn't get much worse conditions for a bore drill. It's, uh, the snow's melted but then frozen. Everything's damp and dripping. The ground's freezing cold. I think the only worst condition you could get if we had a, an easterly wind howling in and, uh, <laughs> and maybe some driving rain. But it's not the best day for a bore drill. But we're gonna crack on with it. And while we're here, <clears throat> last week, I said I didn't like doing reviews. But I don't mind if it's quality kit that I use and that I've used for a long time. And I said in my video, I said if there's anyone wants a review, send us a message. Anyhow, I've got a couple of messages about my mug and what the mug is and what I think about it. Now I'm gonna, t I, it's, I mean, it's great, I love it, that mug. I've had it 18 months and I've used it. I reckon I've used it, some weeks I use it every day of the week, some weeks I use it two or three times. So for 18 months it's been hammered and it's always been on open fires. You know, it's been on a gas stove occasionally, but as a rule, it's either been on a twig stove or an open fire. It's uh, a great bit of kit. I'm gonna give you a quick review and talk through it, but first, let's get a fire going. Let's crank a bow drill up and get a fire going. I've just managed to get a load of hazel from a little uh, copse up there, up way down, and uh, dead standing. So that's my go-to. I've not got a massive pile, but there's enough there to get a fire going and make a brew. So let's crack that up, a quick bow drill. We'll work through the principles of the bow drill, insulating the floor, warming your hearth up, producing your ember, taking your ember to flame. Bob's your uncle, you've got a fire. Let's crack on with that. Hold that, Billy. Bushcraft. Come on, get off that ice.
Does it? Cheers Dave and Jonesy for the uh, the email about uh, the Pathfinder, well what mug and bottle set I use or what mug it was, but it's part of the Pathfinder set. There's quite a few uh, new ones of these come out, some British ones and what have you, British versions, but uh, and I've seen a couple of reviews where they sort of, not slag this one off, but say it's a bit weak, well I can, I can tell you it ain't weak, it's brilliant, I've been using this like I say, regular for 18 months, all the time. This little kid, this little uh, camouflage thing, that's just something I made ages ago. It's getting a bit worn and battered now. But uh, just to keep the inside of my rucksack clean when you've been using it on a fire. So that's it, that's the mug and bottle set. Uh, 700 knob milliliter, 32 ounces. I mean, 32 ounces the bottle, 
that's how much water it holds, which is ideal for your uh, purification tablets. But uh, what I like about these, and why I I advocate these, I used a zebra pot for years and years, still do. But since getting this, I've not used it much because it's an ideal size for one person. It's, it's all right for two, actually. But what I like about it is it's its own sort of water purification in one where I've got the bottle which can be put on the fire and it's a wide mouth bottle a nice big wide mouth obviously you've got to take the plastic lid off when you put it on fire but that big mouth is really handy for scooping up water so as opposed to you know, your little bottles on your normal and it's, it's air graft sometimes and they, and they come in don't they and then so you, it's alright you can do it but you end up dunking it under water for ages and holding it under while bub 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 like, oh, bubbles come out etc. Whereas this, you can scoop the water up nice and easy. I can put the bottle over the fire and I can boil my water in the bottle to clean it, to purify it and then I can pour it in my cup and drink it or whatever. Yeah. Or I can use the cup the other way around, boil it in the cup and then pour the clean stuff into my bottle if I want to carry it somewhere etc. So I think they are a really good bit of kit. That's the bottle. You can see the uh, the Pathfinder logos there. Yep. Really good waterproof lid. When it's on there, it's spot on. It's brilliant. It's uh, but you just like I say, make sure you take that off and don't put it back on when your bottle's too hot. The mug. It still fit at the minute, but it gets used all the time on fires. You know, it was used yesterday and what have you, so it's not been cleaned out. It's only been, I've only been using it for boiling water and making noodles and stuff in it. But uh, you can scrub that off if you want, but I mean, I don't mind. So your bottle, you cut two good handles there, yeah. It's, uh, you've got the, uh, the fluid ounces inside, so the measurements, so you can measure out if you're making bannocks or pancakes or whatever you're making and you've got some sort of specific measurements you want to work to. Yeah, it's got the 16, 20, 25 ounces on the inside, uh, 500, 600, 700 mil. So 700 mil is a good size cup, you make a good brew in here, you've got a fair bit of, uh, of water going in there to rehydrate yourself, etc. So, and I've never had any problems with it. Some of them say they're a bit weak, as in, I've seen a few views where they've never used them, it's brand new, but they're out there squashing it down. Well, I've used it for 18 months. It's been out in and out of my pack, my LK35, my Roycraft pack, this pack. It's been out in and out of all sorts of stuff, chucked about, banged about, used on fires all the time, left round camp, kicked over, etc, etc. I try my best to look after my kit, but they get a bit of ammo. And, uh, there's no dints in it, it's not deformed or anything, it's spot on. I've seen other pots that deform when you bake them and you've got them in a fire on the side when you're baking a bit of bread inside. But to be honest, you, know, you probably need a bigger pot for that to some extent. And if I'm going to do a little bit of baking when I'm out on my own, I'll just bake straight on embers, etc. Ash cakes, stuff like that. But, uh, no, bang on. So, I'm going to make a quick brew in here. You get the lid with it, which obviously makes the water boil a lot faster. It's a lot more efficient with the lid on. Now what I do, I quite have to just put it in the embers, put it in the edge of the fire, etc. But you can quite easily hang it over the fire. I would say that's this pot's only downfall is it doesn't come with a handle for hanging it over the fire. But you can quite easily make one. A couple of bits of wire there. Just bend them out. Pop them in there. There. And that can just hang over the fire. So if I wanted to make a, a tripod or any other sort of system to hang get your pans over a fire, a crane or anything, this will that, that does the job perfect. And I've used that loads. Yep, and you can still fit the lid on with that. There, spot on. You've also got an extra pouring bit in the lid, so if you leave the lid on, 
There's a load of little holes at this end so you can pour your water out, see it coming out then. <coughs> Stick that in here. One of the things I really like about these is that they contain the bottle and the uh, cup together. So you're not getting any extra space, they're both together. So when you're traveling light, just with a side pack or a small rucksack or even that Roy Croft pack, that's all I need to take really, yeah? And it's all contained there in that little pouch that I've made so you don't get your rucksack dirty. And uh, they're great. I mean, don't necessarily, the, I mean, there is other ones out there, you know, that are the same. I mean, I advocate that system, that system is brilliant. I've only ever used the uh, Pathfinder one, so that's the only experience I have. But I can say it is a great mug, cup and bottle set. Absolutely, nesting bottle set. It's, uh, yeah, you can't go wrong with it, really. The only thing is when you're not using a wooden cup, see, it takes a bit for this bit to cool down before you can drink it. But they do a great job. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us anyway. <clears throat> I hope you got a little bit of something out of that and uh, I think it was worthwhile. Good day to get out and practice the bore drill, spark and fire up with that. And uh, great to have a brew out here as always. Just a quick vid. But uh, like I say, thanks for watching and uh, let's keep getting down and dirty in that forest. Plenty of bushcraft for 2021, eh? Look after yourselves. We'll catch you all again real soon. See you later. Mm -hmm.